Martin Zubamendi is already amazing. Labelled as a Gen Z Sergio Busquets, he is at the heart of Real Sociedad's improvement every week. So it's no surprise that top European sides are racing to get his signature and to bring him to their club. What actually makes Zubamendi so special and so good that teams were willing to spend a lot of money on him? Well, if you want to find out the answers to these questions, please watch the rest of the video and please like and subscribe for more content. It's safe to say Martin Zubamendi is actually quite a unique player. At just 24 years Years old, he has become a staple of the Real Sociedad side, being with the club since he was 12 years old in 2011. He has also rejected multiple big clubs coming in for him in the past. Arsenal came in last January and he said no and wanted to stay with Real Sociedad because he loves the team and the project. And as a player who has a position that holds a special place in the history of Spanish football with subtle technique advocated at best by players like Sergio Busquets and Xavi Alonso over the years in the Basque area, he's definitely respected there. But with all the romanticism of his football upbringing, and his destiny at the peak of the game, Zubamendi remains as grounded and as pragmatic as they come. And in the last year, Zubamendi has become a hero to the Real Sociedad fan base and helped the team qualify for the Champions League last season while putting brilliant performances in this year as well. So why is he just so good? Zubamendi is a traditional defensive midfielder. As you can see by his touch map in 2022-2023 that he provisionally sits at that base of the midfield diamond, happy to also drop between the centre-backs and sustain possession. Often, Real Sociedad I'd like to start play from the back and they like to do risky balls to try and get out of pressure and try and create chances with more players up front. This means Zubamendi is often the receiver picking up the ball under pressure and facing his own goal. This role requires not only immaculate technique but quick and never less decision making ensuring the right pass and the right speed angle and elevation because he has to help his teammates progress the ball and also not lose it because if he loses a high chance for the other team to score. So often Zubamendi is that connection between the defence and the midfield to try and help the ball progress and this is very good for ball possession sides like Arsenal and Barcelona. Zumbabendi is also not stale in these positions. He loves moving around and finding different spaces and operates so the defenders can pass him the ball and he's also very good at making progressive passes after this to the wingers or the other midfielders up, up front. And this leads him to get around five progressive passes per game which is not an elite level of passes. Usually you see people like Rodri get to like nine but in a better team with the ball maybe that this will go up. And he still had the most progressive passes in Real Sociedad's side last season with 187. But Zubamendi really stands out because he's so elusive and often understands where he needs to be and this is very smart for young players to do. He often finds space ghosting away from players and spinning away from danger and he's able to move the ball upfield. He will always look to position himself in pockets of space to receive the pass between two players and he's often very adapt to the players he's playing against. If he's playing against a quick player he knows where to stand or if he's playing against a physical striker he knows to be on that player so he can push him out of the way. It's different plays and different works that make him so good. He's also got brilliant spatial awareness and a brilliant scanning method. He usually waits for the ball to come towards him but if he sees that players are struggling with the press he likes to help them. He's also very good to see if people are going to press him before they've actually come over so he can go the other way and make sure there's space. For example last season when Real Sociedad played Manchester United in the Europa League he was very good at doing this. Alex Romero the goalkeeper was closed down so Zubamendi sprints to offer for the pass checking behind him three times. He sees that Bruno Fernandes is on that left side going to pressure him so he drops his shoulder as if he wants to play the first time pass out to the flank. This wrong foots Fernandez, and he spins to make the space so he can get out of the press. Despite these being small details, these are very, very important and it's very important that he is so good at doing this to get Real Sociedad out of this hard press and this could be very vital for bigger teams as he can make sure they get up the ball quicker and with the attacking quality that they have, teams like Arsenal and Barcelona could have a man advantage in the attacking line. Zubamendi is amazing at press resistance and really good at getting out when they need him to, especially when they're under pressure. And at the age of 24, there has been mistakes in his game. He has given the ball away which has made them concede goals but this is going to happen in the high risk plays that he does but he never shies away and he always makes sure that he can help his teammates and he always puts his teammates first over and making him a brilliant defensive midfielder and a brilliant facilitator. And when you watch the Real Sociedad game it might not be obvious how much impact he has on the team because he's very much ghost and you can't really see where he's moving but if you just look at his pass received map you can actually see how much progression he actually makes and how much movement he makes on the pitch. He often finds half spaces and places where the team is necessarily not balanced at that time and he often helps them balance it in different positions and he's a player that just understands what he needs to do by himself he doesn't need to be told by the manager or anyone else where he needs to be and he's always making himself available in the best positions possible which at 24 years old is something he can take with him at least in the next decade and he can keep playing to this level for such a long time like Sergio Biscuits himself often as well Zubamendi doesn't really operate in the final third but if he sees that there's a bit more pressure for the team having the ball and that he sees that that's where the balance is needed to be he will 
he'll push up a little bit into a bit more of an eight role, not really playing as a proper eight, but just making sure the ball's there for the tee. And with more time on the ball, the 24 year old is actually amazing at distributing. He's particularly good at chick clipping the ball out to the wide to allow his teammates to take it down and accelerate away with one touch. And this contributes to his amazing ball retention. He's so good at receiving the ball in tight areas and just making sure they keep the ball and pass it around. He makes it look so simple by not even really sprinting. He just walks around, but he's so good at sustaining pressure and making his team have more pressure on other parts of the pitch, giving them an overload in certain areas. And he often is very good at keeping the ball and making sure it moves towards the goal. He doesn't do too many sideways and backwards passes unless he really needs to and loves getting the ball further up the pitch. But he's so good at hitting it out wide to his wingers and this is so good for big elite sides. For him, he pits it out to Kubo and Kubo's got a 1v1 where he can cut inside and do what he wants. This is a key reason why big teams want him. Bayern Munich have been linked and they could do this. They could set the ball out to Sane or Gnabry and give them a 1v1 against the defenders. Same with Saka and Martinelli or Torres or Yamal, whoever's going to play for Barcelona. It's such a good asset to get the wingers into the game and to get them a 1v1 which they want so they can take the man on. And if you didn't think his passing was already amazing, then he's also got so many other different parts to his game. Splitting the defence with brilliant passes, but he doesn't do this very often. It's not his primary focus, but when he's got more time on the ball, and I think for a bigger team that he probably would, he can actually be able to do them passes through the defensive line. And Zuba Mendy is so good at seeing the game like three steps before everyone else, and he plays brilliant passes in behind for the strikers last season for Sociedad in certain games. And it seems like he just sees the whole picture of football. He waits and waits and waits, and he has so much patience on the ball, but to make sure he doesn't lose the ball, he's got a full awareness of what's going on around him and everyone's movements. This helps him play them brilliant passes with his brilliant passing ability anyway. And Zuba Mendy is so good at just controlling the game at every motion. He's so good at tempo setting, so if the team need to start passing the ball a lot quicker, he will make sure his pass is a very accurate and pass a lot quicker. But when you know you're going to get such an accurate pass, you can also slow the game down and give patience to the team. This is very important for a team like Real Sociedad because some games they might be up against it and they just need to slow the ball down and make sure that nothing's happening too quickly and the other team aren't getting on the ball too much. And this brilliant tempo setting really helps Real Sociedad get the ball into the creative players in midfield. He's not really a creator himself, Super Mendy. He only got three assists in the whole league last season. He's got one this season. But he helps Marino, David Silva and Bryce Mendes go combined 18 last season by the fact he sets the tempo and gives them space in very important places which they want it. And if you're wondering about Zuba Mendy's defensive qualities, he has high athleticism and defensive instincts which make him an excellent sweeper where he usually collects the ball from his team when they've lost it. The reason why he's called a sweeper is because he's not really an aggressive tackler. He doesn't put a lot of tackles in and doesn't look to win the ball in physical impact. He likes winning the ball back by usually snuffing out loose passes and blocking long range effort. Looking more to intercept a pass with his speciality of seeing the game three steps earlier then realistically going and finding the ball with his tackling. And he often operates between the midfield and defensive lines to make this happen, usually sweeping around these positions and create a lot of recoveries for his team. And he often tries to make an interception has more impact of trying to make one when he sees a counter-attacking opportunity there, as he will not wait around and he will quickly pass the ball out to the wingers or someone that's in space for the counter-attack. This is brilliant for counter-attacking sides and gives them a chance to score it even when they don't have the ball. And he is himself willing to go up in the counter-attack if he sees that's the best option with the men that aren't forward and maybe there's too many men back, so he's completely fine with going up there and help it. So this is why Zuba Mendy is wanted by all these top clubs. His future might be in doubt still because he has made it clear where his loyalties lie but he will surely be kept wanting by these big teams and if any team is going to get him they have really got a top quality player on his side that deserves to be in the Champions League consistently. Let me know where you think he will end up in the comments and please like and subscribe for any more tactical content. Thank you.